Hello everybody, it's Mirialda here once again, and woohoo, it's loot haul time! I know you were just waiting for this for so long, because you know, it's not like you're getting the figures or anything. <laughs> so yes, I have three figures in here, and you know, they kind of have a theme. Um, all, all three of the figures, I already have at least one of the characters. A figure of the character already and two they're all in a pretty similar pose uh, basically one foot on the ground one foot up in the air with the knee bent and everything they swap swap legs and everything but it is what it is so eh, let's go ahead and get this open as we can see it is once again a large box I can't seem to get away from large boxes Probably because I keep ordering more and more figures. <clears throat> so, inside, we shall see there is the new Ami Ami card. So there's Amiko, and she's wearing her kimono, yukata, whatever they're called. She's got some braids in her hair, and she just looks pretty cute. And on the back, she's making some mochi, it looks like. So, yay. And then, inside, of course, it's Amiyami. We have paper. Under the paper, we have more paper. And more paper. There is a lot of paper. And there are three figures. So yay. Ugh. Let's go ahead and put this off to the side. And we shall pull out the first one, which is already kind of open. Close it back up. So, we have a brown box. <laughs> so yes, Broccoli likes to do uh, extra, extra packing cardboard box. And sometimes on the loot halls I, do, I open them, sometimes I don't. This time, man, I might as well go ahead and open it. They also pack it with uh, tissue paper to protect the box and we shall rip the tissue paper off so we can see what we have so we'll start off with Tokisaki Kurumi yes this is Tokisaki Kurumi she is from Data Live aka and Data Live 2 uh, she is manufactured by Broccoli and is a 1 8 scale figure. I already own two Kurumi figures. One is by Griffin and one is by Alpha Max. This is now my third one. And she's not even best girl. <laughs> but she looks awesome. So I bought her from AmiAmi Ami, brand new. Uh, I paid 14,410 yen, which is about $132.22. So yeah, she's a more expensive figure. I ordered her back on March 17th of 2017. She shipped out on the 29th of September. And she did get released uh, on the 27th of September. So yay. So there is the front of her box. Nice picture of Kurumi. There is the side of her box. Once again, nice picture of Kurumi. There is the back of her box. And the other side with a full shot, full size shot of her. There is the top. And plain boring bottom. So yay, we have another Kurumi. Bring her close. And we can kind of see inside. Maybe if I lift this up. So far she looks good. We'll have to wait for the actual unboxing to see for sure though. <clears throat> and then the next one that I bought, I will pull out this one. Okay, so this one is a pre-owned figure. We have Percival, Percy, 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 and I gotta admit, I love my uh, one four scale per Percival by Freeing, and that kind of contributed to me buying this one. 
So yes, this is Percival from AU Sunky Gold. She is manufactured by QuestQ and is a 1 8 scale figure. Uh, I bought her at AmiAmi, obviously. She was pre-owned AB quality and the price was just right as well. She was only 3,780 yen or about $34.68. Uh, and I ordered her on the 19th of September. She shipped with the rest of them on the 29th. Uh, she was originally released a few years ago, uh, January 23rd of 2014. And at the time, she was priced at 9,800 yen. So there is the front of the box. I've had Percival in my mind for a while. There is the side with the original artwork that she is based off of. because She's kind of cute. There's the back. There's the other side with the window. Uh, there is the top. And plain boring bottom. Yeah, like I said, she's cute and I've had her on my mind for a while. Uh, if you go to Ami Ami, there's like one picture of her. And yeah. So we'll at least have a video. I've gotten away from posting my pictures of them, but maybe I'll post some pictures. Uh, I do notice there is a tear on the corner of the box, so it's a good thing I don't go at boxes. There she is. Nice and cute bunny girl. I've decided not all bunny girls are bad, so some of them are okay. And then we have one more figure in the box. <clears throat> This one has some more weight to her, and for Quest Q, this is a large figure, in my opinion. So we have Skahawk, or Skatach, or Skatach, or if you go by the uh, Japanese pronunciation, I think they want you to call her Sukasaha. When I listened to the Irish people, it was uh, Skatach. So, however you want to say her name, this is Lancer. She is from Fate Grand Order. Uh, as I said, she is manufactured by QuestQ and is a 1 7 scale. Now, my QuestQ figures tend to be small for their scale. This one is actually kind of large, so that's a good thing. Um, I bought her once again at AmiAmi. She was brand new because she just came out on September 28th. Uh, and I paid 12840 yen for her, or about $117.81. Ordered her with Percival on the 19th. They shipped out on the 29th. And yeah. Um, I own Plum's version of her, and mine is not uh, Dulahan, so she has her head attached. But this one, I just... I don't know. Pretty much in every way, I think she's better than Plum's. But we'll we'll compare it. Don't get me wrong, I like Plum's version too, but this one just seems better. There's the back of her box. And the other side. And the top. This is a heavy-duty corrugated cardboard box. And this time, hey, it's not a plain boring bound. It's just words that I cannot read. So yay. Skaha! So yeah, that is my uh, September... Um, Amiami haul. I do have Ryuzu ordered from uh, uh, Lunar Toy, Toy Store and she was supposed to be in stock in September but not, she hasn't come in stock yet so she will probably be part of October's haul which is getting quite large even though uh, Anime Island closed down and I have to whatever. So yeah three nice figures Tokisaki Kurumi, Ska, Skatak, and Percival. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, with the way things are working out at home and the way it's getting dark early, I don't think I'll be able to get these open tonight. And I think I'm probably only going to be able to do one video a day. So in the comments, go ahead and tell me which one you want me to open first. Like what, what order you want me to open them. And maybe I'll take that into consideration. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. I'm out. Bye-bye.